Hello, welcome to Swapper 101. I'm your host, Robert Rocha. I'm an instructional technology specialist for the El Paso Independent School District. And today I'm really excited because we're going to be revisiting the galleries tab within Smart Notebook. And the reason I'm so happy and excited is because we're going to be talking about the Lesson Activity Toolkit 2.0 that's within the galleries tab. Now that Lesson Activity Toolkit is just that. It's a, it's a toolkit of all these customizable tools, pages, flash animations that a teacher can use to add interactivity into their Smart Notebook lessons. Now, with all the features that are within Smart, uh, this Lesson Activity Toolkit, it may be beyond the scope of this show to talk about all the things that are inside of it. So I'm going to leave that portion up to you to go and explore all the things that are there. But today's show, though, I'm going to focus on how to organize or how the Lesson Activity Toolkit is organized and also how to customize some of those tools. Because basically, there's three types of ways to edit the, smart, the items within the Lesson Activity Toolkit. And so I'm going to show you those three ways of how to edit. And also, one, a little hint about this Lesson Activity Toolkit is a lot of these tools are flash animations. They use, flash, they use a flash player. So you always want to make sure that your flash player is fully updated within, within your computer so it works very seamlessly with the actual Lesson Activity Toolkit. So let's go back to my computer now and take a look at that Lesson Activity Toolkit and how it's organized up here. Now, again, as I mentioned before, it's located within the Galleries tab. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Galleries tab, which is my second item here. And I open that up, and right now I already have it highlighted. It's right under the Gallery Essentials, and it's called Lesson Activity Toolkit 2.0. If you don't have that on your computer, you can always go to the Smart Tech website and download that little piece that's there. But normally, it should be, especially for EPISD employees, all, it's already based on those computers that are there, already imaged on your computer. So let me go ahead and click on that. And when I click on that folder, it opens it up, and it's kind of organized into all these different pieces. There's a folder for already pre-made activities. There's a folder for examples, games that are already there, different graphics that you can use for your uh, lessons, pages that are already pre-done for you. It's just a matter of going in and editing all these different pages that are already there. And of course, the last and a bit of the tools, which I think is probably the area you're going to be using the most. Now, with, as I go through the examples, if I click on my examples folder, notice here it breaks it down into pictures. It breaks into subfolders of pictures, notebook, and files. But if I go to tools, it shows notebook, file, and pages. And it, of course, you're breaking it down to activities, help, layering, all these different ways that you can go and use within the smart notebook. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is, is once we already show the organization of that, how you can go and look for different things, let me show you how to edit these actual tools because they're really, really cool. Okay, I've already preloaded some items within my content here of the Lesson Activity Toolkit item. So let me go and pick one out here. So I'm going to go to My Content and Interactive and Multimedia. And if I click on that, I go and have a blue category sort. So let me go ahead and choose that one. And notice here it's got that a red F on the upper left-hand corner. That red F lets me know that it's a flash-based animation. So I need to make sure my flash player is fully updated. Now I can do two things. I can either double-click on that to bring it to my white environment, or I can drag and drop. I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop. Drop it there. Notice it loads it up there on my pages. And just like any other item, remember everything that you put in that white board area is an object. So if I click on that real quickly, Notice here, if I can move my page up a little bit, or move this down. Notice here I got my handle. But I can go ahead and rotate it if I want to rotate it, but I don't think you really need to do that. And of course, I have a drop-down menu. I can go ahead and clone, cut, copy, whatever I need to do with that particular flash animation. But normally, we kind of leave that alone. But the only thing we might want to do is go to locking and lock that so the kids don't come up and actually move it. But I'm going to go ahead and lock it just a little bit later. And of course, in the bottom left, I have my white handle. So if I want to make my uh, tool larger or smaller, I can go and do that. But the main thing is, is how do I go and edit this particular piece? So what I'm going to do, and most flash animations, you're going to see an edit button on the upper left-hand corner. So when I click on the upper left-hand corner, I can go ahead and it takes me to this page here, the editor. And so now I can choose how many columns I want that to be. I can list my categories here. And I can list all my labels. So let me go ahead and fill that out real quickly. I'm simply going to go ahead and click inside here. And once that becomes yellow, it's now, uh, I'm now able to edit. So I'm going to go ahead and type in odd numbers, or just odd. I'm going to tab down to go to my second column, which I want, or second category, which is even. 
And so here, when I go to my label one, I can say I want that to be uh, one and number three, I want that to be three, and I can keep going down here, it's very simple. And when I go to label two, two, four, and six, so notice now I have all my odd numbers here and I have all my even numbers on this other side. Once I finish doing that, of putting all my editing features, I'm able to go now and click on OK. And here on the very bottom, I have my animation. So it broke my chart down to odd and even numbers. Now when I do that, a student can now come up to the board, and they can go and drag my number five, and they can put it under odd. And they can drag the number four and put that under even. Now what they can do, if they want to go and see if the ranges are correct, they can click the check button, and it automatically checks their work. So notice now it's got the check marks and the ones that are correct and all the ones that are also incorrect, which also another TSC uh, that we have in our district is Earl Yeager. He kind of pointed this out to us one day. He says, you know, you can already predetermine what's correct or, or what's wrong. And so as a student who's learning uh, an item of odd and even numbers, they can go and grab that now and say, well, I'm going to go and put that under even. And when they do that, notice the X doesn't change. So it reinforces that that's an incorrect number, that it's not even. But as soon as I drag it over to the odd, notice now it automatically changes that to the very to the check mark. So you can kind of use that to reinforce uh, skill building within your, uh, your students. So that's a really neat thing to do. Now let's say your students had a really difficult time or you really wanted to show them what all the correct answers were. Notice up here you have a solve button and I can click on solve and now it solves all of my problems for me automatically. And once they see all those correct answers, I can always go back to the hit the reset button and it takes me back to the beginning of my quote game that I can go ahead and use. So now I'm going to go ahead and let me show you another feature we can go ahead and use within the Lesson TV Toolkit, another flash animation that we have. So I'm going to go back to my gallery and go back to my content. And I'm going to go ahead and go to, let me go to a page. I, let me go back down here. And here's one called the flipper. Let me go ahead and do that. Let me add a page here. And I'm going to add my flipper. Uh, wrong. Let me add another page again. Did the wrong thing. Let me drag that one out. And it didn't work. Let me try that again. Smartboards give me a little bit of problems today. But that's okay. Well, things always happen to us under our smartboard, but we're always smarter than the board. So I'm going to go ahead and try it with my computer. I'm going to drag that one out here. And notice now on this particular feature, this is called the flipper. And on the flipper, I don't see an edit button or I don't see the word edit but I do see these double arrows on the upper left-hand corner. So anytime there's a flash animation, the edit button is always going to be in the upper left-hand corner. So all we need to do, if I wanted to edit this particular front of my flipper, I can go and click on the double arrows, and now it says here's my front. I'm going to put, I'll go in here and say, um, click on that and say, welcome to EPISD. Let me go back up here and re-edit that real quickly. And if I want to edit the back, I can go and edit back here, and I can go and say TV Studio. Simple edit that. Oh, I'm going to spell that. And once I'm finished editing my front and back of my particular flipper, all I need to do on the very bottom is click on OK. Now, if I wanted to, I can also change the font size for this particular tile. I can also change this, the font uh, uh, style and of course the size and I can click OK here and also if I wanted to I can even change the background color from being green to any other color that I go and uh, that I choose and I can click on OK and so now it says I'm on my back side says TV studio if I click on that now it flips it over and it says welcome to EPISD that's there notice now also too on the bottom right hand corner I don't have a little round button the white little round button to show me that I can enlarge it but I do have these little triangle in the very bottom here. I can grab that and I can make it larger or I can make it smaller as I want to at will to go and edit that particular feature. Now there's one last one I'm going to show you um, that we also have to go and go back and do. It's another editing feature here and it's called the pages or title page and let me go ahead and find if I can click that here real quickly find that for us and that's under my notebook file and pages and there it is a blue title page and it, again, you can see it's a flash animation. Now on this one, all you need to do, there is no edit button at all, 
But notice that once I clicked on, let's say I click on my lesson objectives, it becomes, it becomes yellow. Well, that one didn't for some reason. But here, I, this one opened up in yellow, so I can go and edit that particular feature. Now, this page is great for when you're doing, we you can have a walkthrough if you're a student or if you're, if you're an administrator. It kind of shows all your administrating your students all the things that you're doing in your class that, uh, that day. But this pretty much wraps it up on how to go and use or how to edit things within the Lesson Activity Toolkit. We hope you liked our show today, and we'll come back and visit us for more shows. Bye-bye.